Kentucky Senator Rand Paul's bigoted remarks on NIL struck a nerve with ESPN's Jay Billis. They've completely screwed up college athletes. We used to be proud. Many of us love watching amateur athletes that weren't paid. Now everybody that plays basketball in in college is going to be driving a Bentley or a Rolls. I mean, we're going to be seeing rap stars instead of basketball stars. I mean, this is crazy. It was blasphemous. Former ESPNer Jamil Hill called it an awfully loud dog whistle. To be kind, it was racial undertones. Uh, It was overtones. Mm -hmm. And it was a pretty clear dog whistle. Uh, So I didn't care for it. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't been called out on it more to date, just like Tommy Tuberville was with the ridiculous things he said recently. The the white nationalist thing. Exactly. That was insane. Uh, In case you missed it. A white nationalist is someone who believes that the white race is superior to other races. Well, that's some people's opinion. Uh, And I don't think, I mean, a lot. uh, Pardon? What's your opinion? My opinion of a white nationalist, if somebody wants to call him white nationalist, to me is an American. A white in nationalist different things. is racist, Senator. Well, th- that's your opinion. This is what they're talking about from former college football coach and Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville. On the topic of the cars athletes drive. All the people who are talking about uh, they don't like money in college sports, they didn't complain over the last 45, 50 years <laughs> when revenues have gone through the roof mm-hmm. and coaches' salaries have gone through the roof and uh, universities are building gigantic facilities opulent facilities in order to attract talent. In addition to Billis's commentary, one must never forget the architect of the NCAA, Walter Byers, the very man who built the system, would own up to the very critiques it rightly faces. Here's what he said, in case you never heard of this before. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, because it is astonishing. Each generation of young persons come along And all they ask is, Coach, give me a chance. I can do it. And it's a disservice to these young people that the management of intercollegiate athletics stays in place committed to an outmoded code of amateurism. And I attribute that to, quite frankly, to the neo-plantation mentality that exists on the campuses of our country and in the conference offices and in the NCAA. The coach owns the athlete's feet. The college owns the athlete's body. And the athlete's mind is supposed to comprehend a rule book that I challenge Dave Burst, who's sitting down in the audience, to explain in rational terms to you inside of eight hours. It strikes me as it's crazy that that so many free market libertarians they're they're saying oh but this one segment no yeah. free market for you yeah. mm-hmm. everybody else we want the free market mm-hmm. it's but about we power. don't want it for you well he hit that one on the head didn't he Rand Paul despises seeing young athletes make money that is rightfully theirs off their name image and likeness letting the free market decide who gets what amount. Speaking of making money and benefiting off of your name, image, and likeness, the post Jennifer Rubin dug into Rand Paul's assertion that he is a board-certified ophthalmologist. It actually came from an entity he founded, the National Ophthalmology Board. She then discovered that the NOB has been out of business since 2011 and in any event does not, under Kentucky law, permit him to advertise as board certified it's about power yeah it's 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 a it's like it's almost immoral uh it's so ridiculous that it gets to to being immoral that we want to restrict college athletes only and and say well they get a scholarship well look at all the non-athletes that get scholarships and Mm -hmm. they work they're employees of the university they make money they sell what they want musicians can play their gigs and make a record write a book uh, and they can make whatever money they want